your featured speaker, Dr. Barbara Hales. Ever hear of Dr. Anthony Fauci before? <laughs> Many Americans hadn't until the pandemic. Then everyone had. He was everywhere. You couldn't turn on the radio or the TV without hearing his name or seeing his face all over. Every COVID quote was attributed to him. What medical condition can you link your name to so that people are talking about you nationally or even in your community? How are you getting your name out? I've spoken to many doctors about marketing and say, do you market yourself? The common response that I get is, I don't know how to do that. I don't have time for that. Is that even ethical? But marketing is telling people what you do and where you do it. Can you imagine a doctor saying, these are the services that I provide, but <laughs> guess where my office is? Or can you imagine them saying, this is where my office is, but <laughs> guess what I do? Of course not. Sounds silly, doesn't it? Marketing is crucial for the survival of your business. And if your practice doesn't survive, how are you going to get your patients to survive? So today, I'm going to share with you three key topics that I deal with when I have helped medical practices over the last 10 years. The first one is that you need a stellar website, one that is rich in keywords that describes what it is that you do so that you are boosted to the first page of a Google search. If you're on page 25, you're not going to be seen. And if you don't have a website, you don't exist. Eight out of 10 Americans go online to check your website out before making that appointment, even after they have been referred to you. No website, you don't exist. You also have to have fresh content that you are constantly adding. If you have an old website that you've just slapped online and you haven't added to it in years, people will say, well, are they up to date on their medical practice? Or is it like their website? Or is that practice even still in existence? Did they retire? Did they die? The second is social media. And the third is free press release. What would it mean to you to have five new patients walk through that door right now that are paying and the referrals that they send over the course of a lifetime? What would it mean to you if those patients went down the road to your competitor instead? Think of Photomat. Did they change? Did they change? No. And what happened to them? But you can change. You owe it to your community. You owe it to your patients. You owe it to yourself. Now is the time for growth. And because I like you all, you can contact Barbara at The Medical Strategist for a free strategy call so that we could get you on the road to marketing yourself and a strategy that makes sense for you. <laughs> Dr. Barbara Hale.